Hello, good morning. In this video, we will talk about the slope of the straight line. The slope of the straight line, okay? Unit 5 in geometry lesson 3. We have, we studied before the slope of the straight line or how to calculate the slope of the two straight line from two points. Now, if A and P two points, A, X1, Y1, and P, X2, Y2, then the slope of the straight line equals what? Equals the difference between y coordinates to the difference between x2 coordinates so i mean the slope of the straight line a p equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 where x1 not equal to x2 okay to so don't make the denominator by zero so x1 not equal to x2 okay so first rule of the slope now in this lesson, we will learn uh, how to calculate the slope of the straight line given the measure of the positive angle which the straight line makes with the positive direction of x-axis. So, here in the first, the positive measures and the negative measures of the angles. Here, you have straight line A, P. This is called what? Straight line a p okay the straight line a b intersects x axis at point c this point called c okay now the straight line makes two angles with x axis okay one of them positive angles and the other is negative or you can say here the two angles the first one this angle and this angle okay this angle is positive angle because what because this angle in the direction of the anticlockwise anticlockwise okay positive negative clockwise in the direction in the clockwise in the direction anti-clockwise so i have two angles here one of them positive and the other negative okay now i will talk about the positive angle which is a straight line makes with the x-axis uh, or the positive direction of the x-axis okay so the slope of the straight line equals what equals the tangent the tangent of positive angle which is a straight line makes with the positive direction of x-axis i mean slope m m equals what equals tan theta where theta what where theta the positive angle which the straight line makes with the positive direction in x-axis okay for example, here in the opposite figure, the straight line L makes an angle of measure 45. Straight line L makes an angle of measure 45 with the positive direction of x axis. It's 45. So the slope of the straight line L equals tan 45. Okay. And we know tan 45 equals 1. So the slope of the straight line L equals 1. So now I have two rules to calculate the slope. Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. And second one, tan theta. Okay, where theta, positive angle, which is a straight line makes with the positive direction of X axis. Now, here I have some cases. The first one, the angle which is a straight line L makes with the positive directions of X axis of the following cases. And the first one, if the angle, if the angle which is a straight line here makes with the positive direction of X axis is 
acute angle like this acute angle so the slope is positive the slope is positive but if the angle which is a straight line makes with the positive direction of x-axis is obtuse obtuse like this angle obtuse angle so the slope is negative the slope is negative but here if the straight line parallel to parallel to x-axis okay or make zero angle so the slope is zero okay the slope is zero but here if the straight line makes right angle triangle with x-axis or perpendicular on x-axis therefore therefore what the slope is undefined and defined okay for example here find the slope find the slope of the straight line which makes positive angle with the positive direction of x-axis where the measure of the angle is 56 degree 12 minutes and 48 seconds okay i know what i know the slope equals tan theta and theta here equals 56 degree 12 second 48 uh, sorry 12 minutes 48 seconds so the slope equals tan this angle okay so the slope equals 1.45 and so on you can calculate it with the calculator okay like this tan and write the angle so the slope equals this value another idea here if you if the measure of the positive angle theta which is a sorry find the measure of the positive angle theta which is a straight line makes with the positive direction of x-axis is the slope now I have the slope of the straight line is the first one 1.4865 now we know the slope equals tan theta here I need to find what I need to find the measure of angle theta so I will make shift tan shift tan I write the values of the slope okay shift tan 1.48 65 so measure of angle theta equals 56 degree 3 minutes and 41 seconds okay you can use a calculator to find measure of angle theta here okay number two if the slope equals negative 1 over root 3 the slope equals negative 1 over root 3 3 okay the same idea here i will what i will write shift 10 okay shift 10 negative 1 over root 3 the calculator give you the answer negative 30 degree negative 30 degree but here the slope is negative the slope is negative number so the negative number so the straight line makes obtuse angle with the positive direction of x axis like this okay obtuse angle but negative 30 is not obtuse angle so what shall i do only add 180 on 2 negative 30 add 180 to negative 30 so measure of angle theta here equals 150 degree okay another idea find the measure of the positive angle theta find the measure of positive angle theta which the straight line l makes with the positive direction of x-axis if the straight line l passes through the two points okay now i have to what this straight line makes positive direction of x-axis make theta angle and also this straight line passing the through two points so you can find the slope of the straight line from this rule okay the straight line passing this through the two points so the slope equals y what two minus y one over x two minus x one you only 
can substitute it by the two coordinates in this rule okay so the slope equals what equals root 3 root 3 now I need to find what I need to find the measure of angle theta so shift 10 root 3 equals 60 or you studied it in trigonometry what is the angle which its tangent equals root 3 yes 60 degree so measure of angle theta here equals 60 degree okay the relation between the two slopes of the two parallel straight lines okay this is the second part of this lesson if you have two parallel straight lines like this L1 here parallel to L2 L1 parallel to L2 okay now we not something theta 1 equals theta 2 okay because what theta 1 and theta 2 are corresponding angles corresponding angles so you can set 10 theta 1 equal 10 theta 2 and 10 theta 1 equals the slope of the straight line L1 and 10 theta 2 equals the slope of the straight line L2 so M1 equals M2 so in general if two parallel straight lines therefore the two slopes are equals L1 parallel L2 therefore M1 equals M2 for example here prove that the straight line L1 which passes through the two points 1 5 and negative 2 negative 1 is parallel to the straight line L2 that passing through the two points 0 negative 1 and 5 and 9 now I need to find what I need to find the slope of the straight line L1 and the slope of the straight line L2 so the The slope of the straight line L1 equals here the two points, okay? 5 minus negative 1 over 1 minus negative 2 equals here equals 6 over over 3. You can simplify it equals 2 so m1 equals 2 then you can find the slope of second straight line okay here what negative 1 negative 9 negative 1 minus 9 over 0 minus 5 equals negative 10 over negative 5 okay you can simplify it equals 2 so we get m1 equals m2 okay so since m1 equals m2 therefore l1 parallel to l2 okay another idea The, okay, the second part here, or the third part, the relation between the slope of the two perpendicular straight line, perpendicular straight line. Here, I have two straight line, L1 and L2, but L1 perpendicular on L2, okay, L1 perpendicular on L2. Therefore, M1 times M2 equals negative 1. Sense. L1 parallel to, sorry, perpendicular, I'm sorry, L1 perpendicular to L2, perpendicular to L2, or perpendicular on L2, therefore M1 times M2 equals negative 1. Take care from this rule, okay? Here, for example, A, negative 2, 5, P, 1, 2, and C, 3, 4 are three points in the Cartesian coordinates plane prove that AP perpendicular on PC now I need to find what I need to find the slope of 
AP and the slope of PC. So the slope of AP equals slope of A P equals here A P five minus two negative two minus one equals here three over negative three equals negative one and also slope of P C equals two minus four over one minus three equals negative two over negative two equals one. Now now we find something, okay? M1 equals negative 1. M2 equals 1. So M1 times M2 equals negative 1. Okay, it's true. Okay, 1 times negative 1 equals negative 1. Therefore, the two straight lines here, AP perpendicular on PC. Another idea. Prove by using the slope that the points A, P, C, and D are the vertices on the rectangle. Okay, I need here to find the or to prove the points here, vertices of the rectangle. But with the slope, with the slope, okay? You, not, you need to find at pi the slope okay so in the first here the rectangle a p c d we know in the rectangle each two opposite side are equal in length and parallel each two opposite side are parallel okay and the two adjacent side are what are perpendicular so i will find the slope of ap pc and pd and a d okay so the first one the slope of a p slope of a p and slope of p c and slope of d c and slope of d a okay here slopes so the first one a slope of a p okay equals 3 minus 1 over negative 1 minus 5 equals here 2 over negative 6 equals 1 over negative 1 over 3 the slope of PC equals PC equals 1 minus 4 and 5 minus 6, okay? Here, 1 minus 4 equals negative 3 over negative 1 equals 3, okay? The slope of DC, slope of DC, okay? So 6 minus 4 over 0 minus 6 equals 2 over 6 negative 6 equals negative 1 over 3 and also the slope of d a d a equals 3 minus 6 over negative 1 minus 0 equals equals what equals here negative 3 over negative 1 equals 3 we know something here okay each two parallel straight lines each two opposite sides are parallel because the slope of pc equals the slope of de and the slope of ap equals the slope of dc and also we know something here 
H2 opposite adjacent, sorry, H2 adjacent side are perpendicular because what? Because AP and PC, the slope M1, the slope of AP times the slope of PC equals negative 1. Negative 3 times 3 equals negative 1. Also, the slope of DC times the slope of DE equals negative 1. Therefore, okay, therefore, what the vertices A, P, C, and D are vertices of the rectangle. The four points A, P, C, D are the vertices of the rectangle A, P, C. I wish you have a good idea about this lesson. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.